Hello Leo, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding the person that you're connecting with. I'm gonna be looking at um, what they're currently thinking, feeling about the connection, uh, what they would say to you if they had the chance, what are your mutual energies, what's going on in your connection. We're gonna look at all of that here. Let's get into it. Let's look at the current energies of the person that you are in a connection with here, Spirit. What are the energies for the person that Leo is connecting with? What are the current energies for this person that Leo is currently connecting with? Whoa, that is way too many. Current energies for Leo regarding the person they are currently connecting with. Current energies for the person that Leo is thinking about, please. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of your comments. I read them all. And I, a special thank you to those of you who take the time out of your day to leave me such kind comments. Thank you so much. They help me a lot. All right, Leo, we got Goddess of the Moon. So this is all about using your intuition here. Being guided by your intuition. We got Cornucopia. Abundance. Fulfillment, a wish being granted. What else for the person that Leo is connecting with, Spirit? Storm fields. So this is a storm up ahead, some sort of obstacle here. Someone's using their intuition um, regarding something they know is coming their way. Bottom of the deck, adjacent possibilities. Someone's thinking about their options here regarding a situation that's that's either happening right now or is gonna happen in the future. I feel like spirit is guiding this in some way or the moon, the planetary shifts that have been happening have something to do with this. And it has to do with someone's wish or abundance here. So let's get more insight into what this person thinks about you or this connection. How do they view this connection with Leo spirit? How does this person view this connection with Leo? How do they view Leo or this connection, please? How do they view Leo or this connection spirit? What can you tell me? Okay, Nightingale, this person has something to say to you. Um, this could also be a confession. They know they have to open up in this connection. Huh, fire ant. This is my card for drama, competition, um, this could be the, the obstacle. Um, there could be gossip, people, too, too many people involved, too many hands in the jar. Is that the phrase? <laughs> oh, this person needs a spine to do this. They know that when they speak up, it's going to cause a stir. Let me look at Stingray real quick to make sure. I'm not missing anything in that one. But this person, um, they definitely have something that they have to communicate to you. Um, I feel like they're working up the courage to do that. Um, developing confidence, sense of, of self or spine. Yeah, this person's working up the courage to do that. I don't know if they have it just yet. Um, I think part of what they want to say, and we're going to get into what would they tell you if they had the chance. I think part of what they want to say is that you are their wish fulfillment or that you are someone that, you know, they can see um, having a full life with. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this person definitely needs courage to speak up with the nightingale. So let's see, what would they tell you if they had the chance? What do they want to say to you, Leo? Spirit, what would this person tell Leo if they had the chance? 
Let this person tell Leo they have the chance. <laughs> oh my god, I can't make this up. <laughs> Leo, are you ready for this? <laughs> it says, I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. <laughs> well, we're getting that. That is so funny. Spirit is so funny. Okay. What else would this person tell Leo if they had the chance, Spirit? I feel alone. Interesting. You know what I'm getting? This person could be in a group of people that's possibly toxic. Maybe they have toxic friends, toxic family members, but they feel very alone. They could also be in um, some sort of toxic partnership as well. Not for everybody, but I'm just sharing what I feel. Tell me more. What would this person tell Leo if they had the chance? Have faith, okay? I feel like this person is trying to have faith. I think um, sometimes they feel like this situation is hopeless, and that's probably why they don't have the courage. It's been a long time since I've seen you at the bottom of the deck. There could be distance between you uh, emotionally. I feel like this person is going to cause a storm when they approach you. But their intuition is leading them to you no matter... I mean, it's almost like they know that you would make them very happy, that this would be a happy connection. Um, but they're hesitating possibly because of the stir it would cause all right so let's see what's going on in this connection spirit what can you tell me about this connection can you tell me about this connection the mutual energies of leo and this other person what can you tell me about this connection Ooh. One more. All right, let's see. Spare, what can you tell me about this connection? Oh, okay. Knight of Pentacles. So, yeah, someone's delayed in making this offer. Eight of Wheels reversed, or Eight of Pentacles reversed. Someone here is not putting in enough effort. Either they didn't put enough effort in the past or someone here is just not um, interested in putting an effort here. Could be you, could be them, either now or in the past because time is fluid. So whatever situation I talk about today could have already happened, currently happening or happened in the future and might as well just say that the roles can be reversed. I'll try not to confuse you, but gotten some comments about that sorry i'll try not to confuse you it's just i'm reading for very um various amounts of people so there's different scenarios on the board five of pentacles reverse someone wants to come out of the cold here someone wants to come out of feeling insecure feeling shut out three of wands again with the waiting um someone could just be waiting for the right time here waiting for a message back i mean Okay, we got Page of Cups. Someone wants to communicate. They want to express how they feel. But there's a delay here. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups reversed. Nine of Cups reversed to me is someone who got their wish, but it wasn't what they expected. It didn't make them as happy as they thought it would. They're not satisfied with what they got. So let's clarify these. Let me just... Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Leo, please. Let me clarify these messages for Leo, please. One more. Tell me about this, okay? Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles reverse. Okay. Okay. We got the Tower reverse. So this is someone who is trying to avoid a Tower moment here and it's causing delays. Ten of Wands reverse. 
Someone's extremely overwhelmed. Ace of Wands reversed. Unable to get something started. They're unable to, to get their new beginning because they're they're too busy trying to avoid a tower moment. And it's it's completely overwhelming to them. They can also be overwhelmed with their fear. Eight of Wands. So they want to communicate here. They want to communicate and that's delayed. To the bottom of the deck. High Priest is reversed. This person's ignoring their intuition. What is going on? Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles reversed for Leo. King of Swords reversed. Terrible. This is a horrible person. King of Swords reversed. Okay, hold on. Let me get it together. Hold on. Let me get let me get some more cards before I. What else can you tell me about this Eight of Pentacles? Seven of Cups reversed. Can I get one more? Page of Wands. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Again with the waiting. Okay, so I'm seeing this a few ways. Someone has finally made a choice about something. There's no confusion. Where there once was confusion or just daydreaming, someone wants to actually put into action here. Page of Wands, someone wants to communicate. You know, I have two pages on the board. Someone definitely wants to communicate a message here. However, this King of Swords is really tripping me up. This is someone who is usually a terrible communicator. Um, they can be abusive. They can be bad at, they could be a, a, a complete liar, for example, or um, they don't care who they hurt as long as they get what they want. They use knowledge to hurt and manipulate rather than, you know, as someone that's trying to communicate something, right? Um, trying to help something. Instead of trying to help something, they, they take pleasure in destroying it. And usually they do it with thoughts. However, I'm I'm getting I'm getting this person because of these other two cards. I think this person's just extremely conflicted and ignoring their own truth. So, King of Swords upright to me is someone who knows something clearly, who's intellectual, who knows their truth. They, they speak their truth clearly. Um, because I got the High Priestess in reverse over here and the bottom of the deck and the King of Swords, I feel like this person is ignoring that part of themselves right at this moment. They're not putting in the effort that they should be putting in or they're not focused. They're distracted. They are, um, whatever they are working on, it's crappy. Um, this person could also be lying to themselves, self-deception here. Um, so it could go in a multiple, you know, ways. This could be someone who's just a terrible communicator and terrible at making an effort. Because I do have two pages here upright. So it's almost like they can only give you small things. And it's like they're still trying to make a decision here. Everything's about waiting. Waiting, hesitancy, fear. This person needs to grow a spine. I don't know what's going on with them. Tell me about this five of pentacles in reverse. We love this five of pentacles in reverse. Thank you. Wow. This person wants to come out of the cold, but they feel powerless. Like it's out of their hands. They, they, they have lost control over a situation. Page of Cups reversed. What is happening? This person possibly is heartbroken. Yeah. Completely disappointed. Their illusions have been shattered. This could be you or them. Remember, roles could be reversed. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles reverse. Six of Swords reverse. Someone doesn't want to go. They, do, they don't want to move on. Even though they're heartbroken and even though they feel powerless in coming out of the cold, it's almost like coming out of the cold is not up to them. 
So they're going to sit here and wait until they have that green light. Maybe you've blocked them. Maybe you are not uh, no longer interested. Tell me about this three of wands, please. Tell me about this three of wands. Eight of cups. Someone here is waiting for the right time to walk away from something. What else? What else can you tell me about this three of wands? Seven of Swords. Someone's trying to sneak out, get away with, get away from something, but like, almost like they're not really sharing this with anybody. They're keeping it to themselves that they want to leave. They're waiting to hear from someone to, to leave. They're waiting for something to happen so that they can, again, they're waiting for that green light. Ace of Swords in reverse. Again, I'm getting the sense of something not getting off the ground here. Something not beginning, something something here. There's deception here in some way. Someone could be um, not telling anybody that they plan to leave. This person could be twisting the truth about planning to leave a situation. They're trying to avoid a tower moment. If, that, if this is the same person, they're trying to avoid a tower moment. They're overwhelmed. And I feel like at some point they're going to realize that they're going to have to face this head on. There is no avoiding this because the Seven of Swords is trying to avoid something. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Could be an apology or an expression of love. Four of Wands. Okay, someone wants to talk about commitment. What else can you tell me about the Page of Cups? Knight of Swords reversed. <sighs> Again, with the delays, this is someone that is, I'm getting bad energy. This. I'm sorry if this is, you know, I don't want to just say, I don't want to give false hopes or false readings or just, you know, try to paint something with rose colored glasses, right? This is someone that's not on your side, this Knight of Swords. This could also be someone who's delayed in communicating something and delivering a message of truth. But typically they use, they twist words around this Knight of Swords. It's, it's almost like this person is promising you a four of wands. But it's like they know that they're not going to be able to deliver that. Tell me more about this page of cups. Thank you. Six of pentacles. Yeah, they want they want to to have a reciprocating type of connection here where, where, where they want to give to you. They're going to tell you that they want to give to you. But for some reason, I keep getting ace of swords reverse. Knight of Swords reversed, Page of Cups reversed, King of Swords reversed. It's almost like there's like a, like a mask or something like that. Or this person is not, it's not being true to themselves. It's almost like they're in a fantasy land, delusional almost. Like, like they want to communicate, they want to do the right thing, but I don't think right now they can deliver. And it's because... They're so scared of either being seen a certain way by other people, being judged, um, scared of having the world, like their world destroyed or their or whatever they know, their comfortable lifestyle possibly be ending, you know, but they, you know, I'm getting that energy for some of you. For others of you, this person could just be a terrible communicator. Like they don't have the words. Um, they possibly have no experience in this, you know, relationship thing. Um, they, 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 they're not very focused. Almost like they have too many things on their plate, and so they can only give you little things, right? Little things. They promise you bigger things with good intentions, possibly, but they can't deliver.
which is very interesting. Um, and I feel like this person is just, they don't have the, they don't have the, maybe they're, they're younger. And so they don't have that experience of, um, fighting for what they want, standing up for themselves of, of being open about what they feel. And, you know, for others of you, this person also wants to keep their options open, you know, so it's almost like they want to keep you near them, but they also don't want to commit right away because it's almost like they, they want to have their options open. So, you know, take it how it resonates because I'm seeing a lot of things here. But this is someone that's losing control. They're, they're feeling powerless about this. The ball's in your court, Leo. This is going to be up to you. You'll be the one to decide if you want to take the little that this person can give you. You know, I feel like here someone is giving more than the other. Either in terms of feelings or, or whatever it is. And this person, you know, don't get me wrong. They want to communicate. They want to start a new beginning, but they can't. It, it, something is in the way of this. I don't know if it's their fear, if it's their their self-deception, if it's, you know, situations they're dealing with that are very overwhelming. There's a delay. Okay, I'll leave it here, Leo. I hope this resonated with most of you. If it did, please leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you. Thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy my readings, and I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.